On this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a schema to a database and what that even means and how to get some information into your database if you have a very limited amount. So I'm going to create a new model and double click on that. And you can't have spaces in your name. I keep hitting space and I need an underscore. So simple schema, call that. And I'm going to add a table. So table one. Just call it name. I'm going to go with ID name is fine. Last. First. So we're just going to have a last name and a first name. I'm going to add another table for address information. The reason why we're adding a second table for that is again, uh, we've talked about this before, but one person can have multiple addresses. Um, so we're going to have an address, and then we're going to have a foreign key. I'm going to call it a foreign key, but I'm not going to explicitly make it a foreign key. Uh, from name to address, and it's ID name. <clears throat> So I'm not going to go over here to foreign keys and declare this as a foreign key. Um, that's not really necessary. You can always just do a join and take care of that um, kind of thing. Oh, and huh, I probably should have got a little excited about doing this part. I probably should actually have an address in here. All right, so now we have a place to put in an address. <clears throat> okay, now what I have now is a simple schema. And... What we have here is a simple schema, or what we've designed is a schema, but a schema is not a database. It's really more of an outline for a database. So what I want to do is move this um, schema over to MySQL, and there's two things that you need to do. Well, the moving process is just one thing. Uh, we're going to forward engineer which means that we're going to take this from a schema over to the database. And essentially in this por portion, we're just going to click on the defaults for now. Um, this is the only connection I have to a database right now is a local instance, so it's running on my laptop. Um, so we're just going to go with the defaults on this. And this is what we want to export. This is the script, so it's actually going to run uh, a MySQL script to do all this creation, uh, it auto generates the script for you. And if there were any errors, you'd find them here. So fortunately, no errors, we're good. Now that I have sent this over to the database, I need to connect to it. So come back to this database menu, connect to the database and click OK. And when we do, we get a new window that pops up. And in this, we see, what did we call this? Simple schema. And there is simple schema. Okay, so now we have imported this into our database. And the next thing we might want to do is put some information in here. So I'm going to just click on this drop arrow. I'm just going to right click on tables. Oh, oh hang on, I've got to open the tables up. So there's two tables, one for address and one for name. I'm going to right click on name and there's lots of things that you can do here but I am going to do select rows from one to a thousand. Notice it brings up two windows. So the first window is a command line window where we can use commands to have um, information put into our database. We haven't learned how to do that yet. We will um, pretty soon. So I'm just going to do it the manual way. Uh, not a good method if you have tons of information but for what little we're going to do here so we find, and I'll put in my standard examples. That I always seem to use in my classes. Jim, Bob, Jane, Bob, and Robert, Bob. So we have three people um, put in. And then I go over to address. And we're going to add some address information in. So we have an ID address. This is the primary key for this. So I'm just going to make this a one foreign key. So I'm going to reference to Jim Bob. And I mean, we're just making stuff up here. This doesn't need to be real specific. So I'm just going to put Jim Bob in Louisiana. And then maybe another 
one for Jim Bob, and we'll put them in New Hampshire. <clears throat> Expand that out a little bit. And then we'll put Jean Bob in California. She doesn't want to be near Jim. And then Robert Bob is in California too. <clears throat> okay, so I have to recognize in this case that this foreign key is um, the address for name and remember that this is um, one is for Jim Bob, two is for Jane Bob, and three is for Robert Bob. When you're programming this, I mean, you wouldn't have to keep track. I mean, you have to keep track of all that information, but you wouldn't have to remember it that way. Um, but anyways, what I, the point of this video was twofold, was to show you how to take a schema and make it into a database. So you have to first forward engineer and then connect to the database. And then when you get into the database, you can actually start entering information.